Hello YouTube, James here for Tech Radar. I'm here to test out drones for the very first time. I've never used a drone before, but first off, I'm gonna test out this DJI Phantom 4. So where to begin? Let's start with the controls. The controls are, that is up and down. Yep. This one here, that way, it goes forwards and backwards. Okay. The left and right on that stick makes it yaw, and then this one here is bank left and right, so it will do that. Old forms of filming are fairly limited compared to what you can do with a drone. By combining and balancing your yaw and banking movements, you can creatively track your subject. Combining the, 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 the right stick I'm going to the right and the left stick I'm going to the left. You want to make sure they're just balanced to the right position and then you keep yourself in view, okay? To get to understand those and get to feel the drone and, and, and make sure you, you balance those two movements. So it's the lateral movement, you know, the sideways movement and the, the axial movement, you know. So the one's, you know, moving this way and then the rotation and it'll basically keep it in, in target. It's, it's, it's fine tuning that. That takes a bit of technique to get right, you know. So. You are watching in the monitor and the drone, but you're watching the subject. And if you, you soon start to figure out, you know, and, um, if the subject's moving from the right to the left, then you feel a little bit more sort of rudder in the one way, which rotates a bit faster or a bit slower. And you can constantly be doing that to keep the subject in view here. Yeah. But it, it, it takes a little while to get it right, but uh, yeah. Now remember, as you're working with essentially a steady cam that can go hundreds of meters up in the sky, one that can also fly along three axes, the possibilities are endless. Instead of going, instead of moving left and turning right to keep the subject focused, this time I'm going to be going up and tilting the camera down at the same time. And you'll see that you know, I'm going up over the top, but the actual castle itself stays in subject. Now, what about the rules of flying? You should check your local laws, but here in the UK, the general rule is to keep 50 meters away from your subject. The general rule is 50 meters from uh, from other people, but. If they're part of a filming operation, like a movie set or at someone's house, or whatever, you can fly right up to them. There's no, there's no limit to it because they are, they are part of the, yeah, the, the, the filming operation. If they commission you, you know, they obviously want you to fly right up to them. You've learned the basics, but how long does it take to master? I've seen some people, some good videographers who've taken up aerial stuff, and you know, maybe they get it. Some of them get it in a in six months or something, I suppose it all depends how long they practice. If they're practicing every day, maybe you can do it in a, in a, in a week. But you know, the guys get better and better, I think. You see people's work getting better. The drones also help when they, they, they've advanced in the last few years and they, they make those, particularly the point of interest type of shots, a bit easier. The way the drone rotates, it's, it's, it used to be a bit jerky in the old days. Um, now it's, 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 a bit, um, it's a bit more, it's a bit smooth. It's easier to do it smoothly with the, uh, the latest technology, yeah. Thanks for liking, thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing. See you again soon.